Track 46, That Bundle of Joy. And you thought being pregnant was fun. Just wait until you bring home that little bundle of joy. Now the fun really starts. Infants can be very funny. Imagine seeing your adorable little baby dribbling pureed spinach down its cute little chin. No matter how much planning you do in advance, your life will change forever the moment you bring home your sweet little newborn. Suddenly, instead of wondering what shoes to buy at the mall, you're looking at cute tiny baby socks for a layette. If you're lucky, some friends may have a baby shower for you. This is another time when some people set up a registry at a store so that friends will know exactly what items you need for the baby. And believe us, you'll need plenty of items. Be sure to include larger size baby clothes on the list. Those tiny newborns grow really quickly. Okay, let's think about this. You go into the hospital as a large mom-to-be. You come out of the hospital a little smaller, but with an entirely new person. This little person needs to be dressed when he or she leaves the hospital with you. You'll need blankets, diapers, onesies, socks, t-shirts, baby soap, a car seat, and that's just for the first day. Plus, you'll probably need a diaper bag to tote all that stuff. The good news is that you may not have to worry about food. One of the first decisions a new mother will make is how to feed her infant. Although there was a generation of babies in the United States that was bottle fed, most people now believe that breastfeeding is the healthiest choice for babies. The nutrition is perfect. After all, isn't that what human breasts are for? And many doctors believe that breast milk contains elements that can keep the baby from getting sick. But for women who cannot or choose not to breastfeed, there are many choices for infant formula on the market. These formulas try to be as similar to breast milk as possible so that babies will get the proper nutrients. You may have chosen a pediatrician before giving birth. This is the doctor who will take care of the baby, usually until he becomes an older teenager. Teenager already? Ah, he just arrived. The pediatrician will answer all questions you may have about the best way to handle baby problems that may arise. One very common problem is colic. The baby may cry for several hours a day for no apparent reason. This may be because of stomach pain or fussiness. Whatever the cause, a fussy baby can be very frustrating for new parents. So it's very important to take care of yourself. The more rested you are, the more patience you'll have when you're trying to soothe a crying baby. They may be cute, but babies are hard work so you should avoid as much extra stress as you can. Does everyone want to visit so they can see the new baby? Plan certain times when this is convenient for you and when you have help. Are there dust bunnies under the bed? Just don't look at them. Don't worry about having a spotless house. A happy mom and baby are more important. Of course, some very special friends may decide to get you a cleaning service. Wow, we want those friends. As the baby gets a little older, you'll need to be sure the house is baby-proofed. Once the little one starts crawling around, there should be nothing in his reach that can hurt him. Electrical outlets should be covered. Tables should be cleared of anything a baby can grab. Sharp corners should be protected. You can find plenty of tips on the internet to help you prepare the house for your growing baby. But the most important tip of all is this. Enjoy every minute you have with your baby. What everyone says is true. The baby years go by in a flash. When he's a teenager and driving you crazy, you'll need all those photos and videos to remember the sweet baby days. Wow, is that really you, Leah? I haven't seen you in ages. How's the baby? Ha, huh, yeah, Alan. I don't get out much these days. I had forgotten how much work a new baby is. In fact, when Tony came home from work tonight, I told him I just had to get out of the house for an hour or so. I've been cooped up since the baby was born. Besides, we're almost out of diapers. That would be a disaster. 
So you're here at the supermarket for a fun night out? <laughs> That's so funny. Boy, times have changed. You didn't used to go grocery shopping for an exciting night out. No kidding. It seems like just yesterday that we used to go to the movies and clubs to have fun. Now, fun is going to buy diapers and pureed peas. <laughs> that really is funny. Yeah, I guess what they say is true. Parenthood will change your life.